Hi there everyone, it's Kelly. I have been working on Inktober for 2018. This is my first year doing this and it's been a challenge for me so far. I've done the 30 day challenge before with watercolor, but ink I'm using it more as a way to get my sketches in and drawing, practicing a little bit with just some black Sharpie and uh, paper, that's it. So I'm trying to do like just a five minute quick sketch and practice, like I said, my drawing skills. So this is what this week turned out like. I would love to have you guys take a look. And if you want to join, you're welcome to join. It's not too late. I'll give you a full list of all of the uh, names. It's a one word each day that you use as your um, inspiration. So for example, um, today's, which happens to be day eight, is star. So that is the last one that you'll see on the video here. I actually missed two days this week because we closed on our house. This was our old house. So you can see the lake house here. We were able to pay it off. So we're debt free again. So my simple living debt free main artist is back <laughs> for three months. Um, we actually took out a short uh, mortgage, which I, we absolutely hated to do, but we found the home that we loved. And so we made that commitment. And as soon as we sold the home, we knew we'd be paying it off. So we closed on Friday. So I missed Saturday and Sunday. And today's Monday and it's a holiday here in Maine. It's Columbus Day. So um, back to work today. And hopefully I will be able to do all of them next week. Fingers crossed. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I have new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button and click the little bell and you'll never miss one. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Creating with Kelly. Just wanted to give a shout out for Tuesday's tag to Katherine Clark. She shared her pumpkin painting that she did from her YouTube tutorial that I did a few weeks ago. I will tag that for you as well in the top corner here on the right if you want to take a look at that and get a chance to. And if you want to be a part of the Tuesday tag, all you need to do is just tag at Kelly Chassie underscore fine art on any of your social media platforms if you've done any of my either online classes or any of my YouTube videos. When you hit that at Kelly Chassie underscore fine art, I am able to find them online and I can share them with others. So here we go with Inktober. I decided to start out day one doing this beautiful lily that my husband had picked up for me. He is so sweet. I know, we're lucky. Um, and I decided just to do pen and ink for the week and just go with black and white Sharpie. I thought I would make it really easy for myself and boy was I surprised. It's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. I'm trying to do just some simple little things but it's amazing when you really look at something how difficult it can be and how many little lines are in something. So I am really trying to work with my eyes and my hands and just go very simplistic, which is not an easy thing for me to do. Really, alcohol inks have been a wonder for me because um, working with watercolors and oils, I really tend to do a lot of really minute details. So working with alcohol inks have, has really been able to loosen me up. Um, so I thought, you know, trying with these inks here, just the pen and ink, let's see how loose I can be because when I draw, I usually tend to get very detailed. So this was a great challenge for me this week and um, I think it turned out pretty good. Some things not as easy as others. This uh, lily, which I normally do not like drawing flowers, believe it or not. Flowers are not my thing, but I, they're so pretty. <laughs> but again, because they are so detailed, I often have a, a hard time and I can't do them as a warm up. It's something that's a very quick, so that's always a challenge for me. So I decided to do this one with the glass and trying just to get a few little details in here. I had some bubbles in the glass and um, the stem was uh, was funny because if you look at the, the picture, um, well, when I was looking at the picture, the stem, and if you see something in water, you see it and then it disappears and then comes back again at the bottom. <laughs> so I was real happy with this one and it was a great way to start out with day one. 
Now my plan for all of these is to just do a quick, maybe five minute warm up. So I'm trying to get in as um, least amount of details as possible, but getting the main shape or the main picture in for you. So I'm going to stop at this point here and wrap it up. And I actually got quite a bit of details in here, more than I thought I would for that limited time. So for day two of Inktober, I forgot to tell you, day one was called Poison. And I did find out later after I started this <laughs> that each day has a word associated with it. So Poison was the first one and, and the lilies worked out well because I found out that cats, it's po it gave me poisonous to cats. At least that's what I read online. So if I am correct, write Poison down below. Give me a comment, Poison. <laughs> Anybody watching the video sees the comments poison, they'll have no idea what you're talking about. So hopefully they'll watch it to find out. So day two was called Tranquil. And you know what? Working with my paintbrushes is tranquility for me. So I thought I had a brush. I'm trying to do things that are handy for me to paint or to draw. And um, that worked for me. So number two is my paintbrush, my watercolor brush. I love this brush. Um, if I have it, let me see if I can tell you what the name of it is. Do you have it here? I do have it here. It's Da Vinci, and this is, it's a huge brush. It's, um, a number 26. And this is a great wash brush for some larger paintings that I do with watercolor. And again, I'm trying not to get every little strand of hair in there from that brush, so I'm trying to simplify this down and do the sketch under five minutes for it. And I'll tell you one thing, the reflections on these, it's not an easy thing. Now, what you're seeing here from the camera from the angle is a little bit different than what I'm seeing. So keep that in mind while you're looking at the drawings because I have this camera directly above my painting and or my, my, uh, my drawing and I'm sitting at an angle here. So it's a little bit different from what you're seeing than what I'm seeing. So I'm getting my little hash marks in here, trying to get that little shadow. I see more of a shadow on the underneath on the one side here than what you do in the picture. The reflections can be really fun. And it was very much a challenge drawing it in with just the black and white Sharpie in under five minutes. But I did it. I am just wrapping up here. I had a few little paint marks that were on here that I just wanted to give it a little bit of texture. And I do have that little bit of a highlight in here as well. There we go. So I'm out of time and that was day two. Day three was called roasted and I had roasted pumpkin soup today. So I decided to use my spoon <laughs> as my um, my item to draw today. And I had done that reflection the day before with that little bit that was on my brush. So I thought, well, let's really give yourself a challenge today here and see if you can get this one because you're working with metal. And there are so many colors in here. And I don't know if you can notice the reflection of my computer actually in the spoon there in the bottom left. I really wanted to work on this a lot longer and be able to get all of that in there. But like I said, under five minutes, that's what we're shooting for for this. So again, I have more of a shadow from my angle as I'm drawing this in. And my spoon shape is a little bit bigger here. And trying to get that little bit of a, a lip here so that it looks like it's raised up right here. So this one was really fun, but this one was a challenge. Like I said, I could have worked a lot longer on this one. Now you'll notice I'm not using any type of pencil before I do this. And again, because I want to challenge myself, I'm not giving myself a, um, a sketch to start with for the spoon. 
and this is more about the shape. Later on this week, I do uh, day five, I do a little uh, landscape. So I did pencil that in for you uh, just for something different. But when I first started, I just wanted to really, really challenge myself to see if I could get the shape in here correctly without using a, a pencil, without doing any type of erasing. So this is where I really could get into some of the shadows in here, but I am trying to keep it basic and just going for where it's a little bit darker here, getting in some of those areas. So I'm curious, how many of you do a lot of drawing? Honestly, I do not do a lot of drawing. Even with um, many of my watercolors, I just go in with the color. Uh, especially when I'm doing seascapes or landscapes, um, I don't do much for drawing. I do, however, if I'm drawing an animal, I really want to make sure that I have that correct and things are in the right place. So I really I do focus a little bit more with the drawing um, with those type of things. I need to get a little bit of highlight in there. I think I, I have actually covered up a little bit too much of it. And you will notice at the very end here, I didn't film it, but I went back in and I had to put a little bit more highlights in there. So I actually used a white gel pen to put a few highlights back in where I had put it, uh, too much of the, the black ink in. I lost it on the side of the spoon there where that little bit of a highlight is. This was a little bit of a challenge in here too. I'm trying to get that, that highlight that's in the middle here. That's that shine of my light that's reflecting in there. So I, I could I worked on that a little bit more too. So it's really hard to let things go when I'm only giving myself five minutes. <laughs> As we said, I wanted to make it a challenge, and a lot of people use Inktober for that, especially. They'll step out of their box and try some new things, things that they're not, maybe not comfortable with, or um, it really gives people a time to practice drawings. I hear from a lot of my students, a lot of times I, I don't draw. I'm not a person that draws. But really when you draw and you practice, you really get to see things for what they are and you really get a better understanding of what is wrong or what is off sometimes, um, either with your paintings or with your drawings. So practice, it's a great thing to do. So for, uh, was it day four? I did spell, I forgot to film it. <laughs> well, I didn't forget, I had my camera on, but it was not filming. <laughs> so I missed the whole thing, but it was real basic. And that one was just out of my head. I really didn't know what to do for that day. So I just kept adding the things. I started with the word spell and then I worked from there. So for day five, I had been watching these sailboats out here. Um, and the word of the day today was chicken. <laughs> so I felt that they were playing chicken on the lake here. So I decided to do the two sailboats for this one. And like I said earlier, I did sketch this one in really lightly just so you could see it and get an idea of how lightly I sketch in, especially things like this for watercolor. I'll just give myself an idea of where I want to place things. And it's that's it. That's all that's there for my sketch. So again, I'm going to be doing, that's my little bit of water in here. And I'm doing a couple of large clouds. Let's put another one down here. And I want to give it a little bit of puffiness. So it's just not real basic. And a little bit of hash marks maybe on the underneath to give it a little bit of shadow. Really easy clouds. I could say wicked easy. Because that's how we say it in Maine. We use the word wicked a lot. That's appropriate for October, huh? <laughs> So we got my little pine tree in here and then the rest of it, this is how I see across from the lake. It's just about a, about a bunch of colors really. And the trees are all different sizes. We've got the reflection going in the water here as well. Now this would make a great little watercolor, which I might be doing for my Skillshare class coming up. If you have not checked out Skillshare, I would 
advise you to give it a shot. It's great. They have a special where you can get two months for free and I'll put a link, a special link for you guys down below. You actually can take every single one of my Skillshare classes on here. Um, and if you can get it all done in two months, you can watch them all. Plus there's many other fabulous artists on here and instructors. So um, I think it's like, what do I want to say? I think it's free for the first two months and then you pay after. So I'll give you the link down below. You can check that out. But I'm thinking about doing this one in Skillshare with watercolor. Something very similar. Again, some little rocks down on the front here. And the ones to the right were, were some more trees. But instead of giving it that full look, it's like a little island with a lot of pine trees on there. And then we're going to just quickly put in a little sailboat. Ta -da. Give a little reflection here. And I forgot to film the second little boat. <laughs> the whole point of it was chicken, right? <laughs> so I had to go back in afterward and I put the second boat in. Again, real fast, quick and easy in under five minutes. There's the second boat. There, now we're chicken. All right, and then a four... Day six and seven, I missed it. That was when I was closing in on my, closing in, closing on my house. So I didn't get those. Um, so for day eight, which was yesterday for you, now that you're watching this on Tuesday, this was Monday, October 8th. Um, I posted on Instagram a beautiful painting of, it was with watercolor of a forest. So I did the sketch here. Um, of the painting that was done. See if I could do it with just the ink and see how much detail I could get in here. So all those little sticks here are the trees kind of going off into a distance of the past. So you can see they're a little bit shorter down in the front here or the back, I mean. I'm gonna put a little bit of details in here, some sticks, cause this is after the leaves have fallen We'll get lots more in here. You could always add leaves to these too if you wanted to. I'll put a picture here of my painting that I did. But this one is day, day eight is star is the word. So this is my star filled night. And we'll get the stars in here at the end. <laughs> so you can see the trees here towards the front are just a little bit wider and a little bit more narrow as they go off in the distance. And I did want to have a little bit of shadow in there. So we've got some dots here for some little stars and then we'll do a few big ones up front here. And now again, quick little five minute sketch. And this one was really fun. So if you think you want to join us with Inktober, make sure to leave a comment down below and just write in Inktober 2018. And I will look for you, especially if you have a channel. We'll check it out and I would love to have you guys join us. So I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Please make sure to click that like button and share. Help me grow my channel. I so appreciate it. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for being here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next week. Take care.